Hey guys, Braden here with ATT. I don't have a lot of time, so if you want this full version of the Awesome Pottery Trap, you can just head to patreon.com slash Podcast. We need this support. The support helps the show tremendously. You've got two ways to support Patreon or Supercast, or you can just top up the beer coffers by scanning that code and sending us some beer money. Anyways, I hope you enjoy our Awesome Pottery Cap and think about supporting the show. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Bandit? Because that, that uh, to me it, sounds like yeah, Andrew shit. If being a great travel companion is when you yell Alu Akbar <laughs> through security. I whispered it. Okay. You. So you were security was right there. We, yeah, so they so, can't discriminate. So well, they do, and they did. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going through security in Kelowna. It's a very small airport. There's like one fucking scanner. <laughs> and in the some I don't know what he muttered, but he said something about a bomb. Like, right when we're going through the x-ray i was like what are you doing you can't say bomb in the airport you can't say bomb anywhere around here it's like no one heard no one heard so we uh, go it's just a whisper just whisper. It's, it's like someone could just have a bomb in this airport no one even knows it's, it's something like that and i'm like fuck yeah i stepped to the metal detector because you know i'm not going through that fucking microwave nope. not a chance step the to the metal boiler. detector i didn't even set the thing off and all i hear is you with the eyebrows over here <laughs> Hey, caterpillars! Yeah. <laughs> Over here, hey, Eugene Levy. This yeah. way, we're, we're gonna need a hand swab. <laughs> oh man, everything swab. Fucking got right in like shark fin. Split the cheeks, <laughs> yeah. like lifted uh, the carriage. Hoo-ha. It wasn't great. Yeah, what what would have happened great. if you not didn't say bomb? Probably nothing. Probably same thing. Hey, guess we'll never know. <laughs> Probably the same. Thing. I think I've been random, randomly selected every time. Your face is imprinted in their scanners, so you walk in the airport and they already have you pinged before you even go through. Those. Those detectors don't detect metal. They fucking detect Middle Eastern heritage. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> <They don't. laughs> oh fuck! Well, we but we made it through. Not too many hassles. Just a, one almost bomb scare. And, and it was, bomb it was, scare it was, threat. It was, good see, it was good seeing you boys. Like honestly, like seeing you there. Part I was like, oh yeah, it's like the. It's been a know, while. The, the stress is kind of off. It's like, all right, we're doing this. We're going on this trip. Uh, this is phenomenal. We got this red eye, like sweet. So we're we're just literally doing fuck all at the airport. We're just pacing around. Beers were like twenty bucks a beer, <laughs> shit. Like so, uh, we, we had care. a couple. We drinks. didn't care. We didn't care. We had a couple, um, and you know we all had huge aspirations. I don't know about you guys, but I was like, I'm sleeping on this plane. Andrew was medicating himself to sleep on the plane. No dice. Uh, shout out to Alaska Airlines for the fucking worst, worst seats. What the worst? Made of stone, boys. It literally le- made a stone legit the plane was from 1960 and the seats had been sit on sat on so much that they were concrete like they were the foam was so fucking hard and fused you could not sleep on this fucking plane i had a window seat and the way the plane cuts down i can't put both my legs on the floor one leg kind of like sits up on the side of the plane and i was like are you are you for real right now and i wasn't sitting with you guys so no, you got to sit by yourself, didn't you? No, there's some random person oh. beside me. So I, it's not like I could get comfy. I, I, uh, I also may or may not have told them about the red eye when I first booked the flight. <laughs> well, I, I knew we were flying. Like, I figured at the timing, I knew we were getting a red eye. I knew that was the case. Um, but But I'll say this. I never really checked the flight times. So, like, in my head, like... We were flying and we're we'll be in Texas at like in my head I was like oh we'll be in Texas at nine in the morning. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Five thirty a.m. <laughs> Get off, dude. I didn't. It. I may have slept ten minutes. May maybe I was so uncomfortable that whole flight. It was loud, like just like it was it, terrible. Uh, I I can usually fall asleep on an airplane before takeoff. I'll. And I'll sleep for two, three, four hours, no problem. I couldn't sleep for 20 minutes. My back was seizing up. I kept having to like lean up, stretch off the seat in front of me. It was, it was actually, I've been on a lot of flights. It was the worst by far. It was no, yeah. nothing comes close to that flight. Me and Zell have flown Air Lao where they fucking smoke on the planes and I had a better still, flight. They still smoke. And they, <laughs> they, they legit they drop. They hand crank the, the fucking <laughs> propellers. And they legit drop the plane out of the sky to land. They're just like, boom. Boom, they'll drop like nine times. They won't like gradually descend. They'll just drop that fucker out of the sky. It was that like, was at least it was terrifying. fun. It was uh, fun. Yeah, it was like a little bit of a roller coaster. Alaska Airlines, utter trash. So we're there at 530. What <laughs> do we do? We're going, we're going to get the things. And so it goes, yeah, it's really shitty that fucking check-ins not till three. 
<laughs> like, pardon fucking me? What do you mean check in stuff till three? He's like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Airbnb. We, oh, I'm, you guys didn't know that? Well, you I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm not paying for an extra night that we're not going to be there. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> so we're sort of literally, we just like, dude, we were, so, we're all, we're so fucking tired. We're sitting at the like back because we don't know what to do. We have all our bags and shit. We're just sitting there like Zell went to Zell went to take a piss. Me and Andrew were like motherfucker, this piece of shit, I'm fucking put it. In, unbelievable. In Can my defense, in my defense, when I booked the Airbnb, I specifically asked for an early check in because it said it said on the booking it says if you want an early check in, just request and we'll try and accommodate your request. So I said, hey, we're getting in at like five thirty a.m. We'd love to check in as early as possible. If that's 11 or 12 or whatever, we'd like to check in. Crickets. Crickets for like, I sound like four follow ups. And finally, when we're sitting there, we're like, oh, yeah, you can check in. You can check in. I was like, okay, sweet. What time can we get there? When's good? Crickets again. And I was like, yeah, fuck, okay, so we're, <laughs> so we decide so we're just going to go to breakfast, I guess, at this point. Yes, yeah, so we're looking up fucking four breakfast, breakfast places. And uh, we go to this uh, place downtown. From the airport we're like we got all our luggage dude we looked haggard like I, I i was looking at you guys and you guys look haggard and i knew i was like i look there's i look even worse i was because i was a you had stress a, you had a double stress double stressful yeah, stress day. mess right so i'm like oh god so we're pulling into this place called phoebe's phoebe's diner downtown uh fucking unreal my first real experience with a little bit of brisket, brisket. We, we had to get it first thing in the morning. I got a, I got a brick, brisket yeah. Benny. Everybody knows what a healthy brisket breakfast. Yeah, it's a, it was a staple of our Austin trip. Brisket every day. Um, now, the the funny thing is, is that, again, we can't check in. So we're sitting there just crushing coffees. Like, I'm talking, this is a, we were there for so long, I took two shits. They, oh, 100%. This, was the, this was the start of an epic shitting spree by these two that boggled my mind. <laughs> Literally, the entire time. I couldn't. I didn't understand what was happening on this trip. We literally played battleships all yeah, the trip. It was the whole trip. Uh, I don't know what yeah. they. They must have both ate something different because they. Man, yeah. it was disgusting. Well, you've heard of pissing contest. This was a shit contest, boys. Yeah. Yeah. brisket. Yeah, moist There's, brisket for breakfast. It's, uh, so we, we just sat there. We sat around there, like just crushing coffees. That girl uh, uh, like, honestly had like seven cups of coffee. She's like, "Are you?" You're still here. All right. You want to, you want another cup? Honestly, there, she was, she was a beauty. She was really Is there nice. any way that you can put this in a, a, a bag that I can hang and put into my vein? <laughs> just drip it. Yeah. Like, please just mainline this now. Uh, so it's like, I don't know, fucking 10 o'clock, 10 30. We get a message. Hey, yeah, go ahead. Check in. Yeah. Right. And we're Thank like, you. uh, all right, cool. Like sweet. So we, uh, there's no, Uber. there's no way the place was booked before us. There's not, not a chance. there's not a no chance way. they could we could have checked in at any time she just would have said it yeah there was also oh, no chance the place was clean before us either there's and there's also a good chance that someone may have died in this place it felt like yeah oh no that 100 percent it's confirmed yeah it had so it happened we pull up to our airbnb it's uh you know like i said we're we're there to have fun so it's like we, you know we don't we splurge where we can splurge and we save where we can save uh, we saved. Know, Zell doesn't Zell doesn't crank out that wallet for nothing. So we saved. We saved on, on the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like you know, it's 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 in a nice part of town. It's like you know, in the Bel Air of Texas, basically. Oh yeah, so like Uncle Phil lives up the street. I think. Was, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking right. 100%. Actually, <laughs> yeah, Uncle Phil lived up the street. We were in Clarksville, which I guess is like just west northwest of downtown, pretty much. It was really nice, but we, you know, there we were in like a. What are the four a fourplex? It's a little bit run down. Grungy fourplex. Grungy fourplex. Grungy. And like, you know, so we get into our place. And... To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.